Did you know that according to an article written on December 2015 for CNN.com by Steve Israel titled Guns, Thousands of, of Americans Die and Yet We Do Nothing, more than 30,000 people were killed in America in the year of 2014 as a result of gun violence. That's 30,000 of our fellow brothers and sisters who have lost their lives, many of whom just happen to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. Hello, my name is Kaylin Santos, and today I will talk to you about how we can change our current situation, change the number of people who are killed each year by a gun, by doing something as simple as writing to Congress and legislative and tell them that we want, no, that we demand that something be done. We need to let them know that we, the people, don't want to lose our Second Amendment right to bear arms, but we also do not want to lose our lives. What we do want is for them to amend the Second Amendment so that every bullet inside of every gun is replaced with an alternative bullet or a non-lethal bullet. I will talk to you about four main points in this speech. First point. I will talk to you about our current gun policies and what they mean. Second point, I will explain to you what a non-lethal or alternative bullet is. Third, I will inform you on how we can all benefit from a bill being passed that outlaws traditional lead bullets. Fourth, I will tell you how to get in contact with Congress so that you may let them know that we are ready for a change. I chose this topic because I have lived in the Bronx my entire life, and I have noticed gun violence in the Bronx has been on the rise in recent years. In actuality, I have noticed that gun violence has been on the rise all over the country, and the older I get, the more I hear about someone being shot. And I find it very disconcerting that so many people are getting hurt on a daily basis and no one is doing anything about it. I also think that this is a personal issue for us, the students of Mercy College, because the main campus in Dobbs Ferry has minimal security and any person can come into the campus off the streets and most likely not be asked to show a school ID. And that is very risky. My first point is about our current gun policy. The Second Amendment states that a well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state the right of the people to keep and bear arms should not be infringed. This along with the interpretation of the amendment can be found on the Cornell University Law School website. This basically means that any person who is legally eligible, eligible to own a gun may do so if they wish. That means that if every person in this room decided they wanted to own a gun, as long as they passed a basic background check they could, in actuality, it's not that simple. Thanks to the Gun Act of 1968, there is a list of people who cannot buy or own a gun. This list will include any person under the age of 18, anyone with a criminal record or a soldier that had, that had been dishonorably discharged from the military, any illegal or unlawful aliens, mentally disabled, and so on, as is stated on, the, on an article called U.S. Gun Policy Global Comparison by the Council on Foreign Relations, written on December 2012 for PBS.org. But unfortunately, if a person who has yet to be diagnosed with a mental illness decides to buy a gun, they may do so. So don't be fooled. We are not as protected as one would like to believe. It is also surprisingly easy for a person to buy a gun off the black market because only a very small percentage of all stolen guns are ever recovered. About 5% of guns are ever recovered. And of course, all these guns require bullets. Which brings me to my second point. What are non-lethal and alternative bullets? A non-lethal bullet would be classified as a rubber or rubber coated projectile that can be fired from either standard firearms or a riot gun. Some alternative bullets 
would include bean bags filled with lead, silicone, or rubber balls that are to be fired from shotguns. Blunt impact projectiles, which are plastic bullets, bullet, plastic bullet cap with gel, silicone, or foam that can be fired from giant revolvers or a single shot gas launcher. The blunt impact projectile may also be filled with pepper spray or a liquid that, that would have a smell that would force a suspect to back away because of a pungent scent, a rotten egg, that animal, or feces would hit the assailant as soon as they were shot. These bullets are sold at a size of 37 or 40 millimeters. Pepper balls, which is exactly as it sounds, a ball filled with pepper. Well, not exactly. It is filled with powder that is drained from the active ingredients in chili peppers. This type of ammo will require a gun similar to a paintball gun. As you may notice, some of the bullets I have mentioned are, are used for the police force or doing riots. But for the everyday person who owns a handgun, there are also 9mm rubber bullets for sale. These bullets look like a normal bullet except the head of the bullet is flat and made of rubber so as to not penetrate the skin, as opposed to a pointed head made of lead, which would penetrate the skin. The third point I would like to make in this speech is on how we can all benefit from a bill being passed that would outlaw traditional bullets. We, we may all benefit because even though we can't confiscate every gun that has ever been stolen and sold on the black market. We can control the ammunition that is sold for said gun. This will be of great benefit to our nation and our population as a whole. This would increase our security. This may reduce the number of mass shootings and massacres that occur across the country. We as a nation would never have to read of a, mass, mass, of a mass shooting on a college campus again. We will never have to hear of a gay nightclub being shot up. We will never have to worry about sending our children to school and fearing for their safety because another incident may occur, such as the one that happened in Sandy Hook Elementary School. We will be trading in our bullets for a safer future, not just for ourselves, but for our children and future generations. According to an, to an article written by Jennifer Maschia in April 2017, titled 15 Statistics That Tell the Story of Gun Violence This Year, says, and I quote, at least 756 American children will be killed by gunfire this year. And that is completely unacceptable. The fourth thing I would like to speak to you about is on how we can, we can in fact get a bill passed. At this moment, I will be passing out the information for our Congressman, Jose Serrano, the Congress for, this, for District 15, the Bronx. There are currently 27 Congressmen and women representing New York. If you do not live in the Bronx, you can find your Congress representative by going to Google and finding the district you live in. And once you have the district, you can just Google, for example, Congress representative of District 2, which will be Peter King. I suggest that you write a letter. I suggest that you write many letters, for that matter, and tell everyone you know to write a letter as well. If Congress sees that our nation as a whole is demanding something to be done, for change to happen, they will in fact act because they are currently doing nothing against our against the rising gun violence in America. In conclusion, I have one explain our current gun policies, two educate you 
on what non-lethal alternative bullets are. Three, informed you on how we can all benefit from contacting Congress and demanding a change. And four, I have given you the means that will help you to contract, contact your local Congress representative. I hope that this was informative and it wasn't it, that it has inspired you to raise your voice against gun violence and to demand a change. Thank you. My name is Katie Santos. Goodbye.